To get started, bring up the charms bar by moving your mouse to the lower right corner of the screen and then click on settings. One of the icons in this menu should be a set of reception bars and if there are wireless networks around you, it should say available. Click on it and it will bring up a list of those networks. Yours will of course look different than mine, depending on what networks you have around you. You'll want to find your network in the list, which will be whatever you named it. A few different things may happen when you click on it. If it's a network that doesn't have a security key, then it will let you know that information sent over the network might be visible since there's no security. If the network does have a security key, when you click on it, you won't get that warning. Instead, you'll only have a connect button and a box allowing you to connect automatically. This just means that whenever you're in range of this network from this point on, it'll connect to it on its own. If you don't want to do this, just uncheck the box. When you click connect, it'll come up with a window asking for the network security key since it's a secured network. Type in the network security key you set in your router and then click next. It will ask if you want to turn on sharing between this and other PCs on your network. Choose either yes or no. If it's a public network, then it's probably best to choose no. Since I'm not on a public network, I'll go ahead and click yes. When you select one, it'll return to your list of networks, and the one you selected should say connected and have moved to the top of the list. If you right click on it, you'll find a few options. Show estimated data usage lets you monitor how much data you've used on this connection with the option to reset it if you want. Set as metered connection is useful in situations where you need to limit your data usage on a 3G network, for instance. Forget this network removes a safe security key so it won't connect to it automatically any longer if you had previously selected for it to do so. Turn sharing on or off lets you customize your sharing settings. And view connection properties lets you change the security and encryption settings for the connection but you probably won't have to do anything with these as they should have been auto set to match your router's settings. If when opening the settings menu, the network icon says airplane mode and clicking into it says Wi-Fi is off, then you just need to click this toggle to turn airplane mode off. This will bring back your list of networks. If you don't even get that much and it just says no connections are available, then it's possible your network card might be disabled entirely. Just click Troubleshoot, and after it searches, it may tell you that the Wi-Fi adapter is disabled. Click Try These Repairs as an Administrator, and it will turn the adapter back on. When you open the Networks panel again, everything should show correctly. If you have any questions, please visit our website at support.acer.com.